first method we will need to refresh the user field synchronization so you will need to open an elevated command prompt uh, you can do it by Windows X menu or by searching the command prompt from the start menu right click on the result and select run as administrator uh, for the USC command USC prompt you need to select yes now on the command prompt you need to execute MS feeds sync space disable once it's done we will enable it with the same command replacing disable with the enable so these commands will disable and enable the user feed synchronization task and once it is done you will need to try the backup job again in the second method we will try to delete the Windows backup file um, you'll need to browse through Windows System32 Task Sorry about that I'll go to Task Folder you might need to click on continue then Microsoft Windows and Windows backup folder so in this video the system doesn't have any backup schedule so we don't have anything to show here but you will find a Windows backup file uh, take a backup of the file and then proceed with deleting the file from this location um, this will come again once the schedule job is executed next time so Right now, uh, open the elevated command prompt, search for CMD and right click to run as administrator. So the first step, there was a, the, the first option was to delete by browsing through the directory. Now this method will use to delete the files by command prompt. So we'll move to the directory cd windows directory system32 tasks microsoft windows and windows backup so once we are in the directory in the command prompt uh, let's complete the typing windows backup okay now we are in the directory and we are going to delete automatic backup file so the command is to delete and then space automatic backup automatic backup is without space hit enter um, here you can see the message is that there's no files as already mentioned that we don't have any backup job so you will get a success message and then the next command is delete which is del space in quotation mark windows space backup space monitor once done we'll need to run the backup job again now in method 3 we are going to delete the task from the task scheduler so click on start menu and search for task scheduler open the task scheduler and um, we'll browse through task scheduler library then Microsoft Windows and then we'll select Windows backup directory you'll find two jobs here one is automatic backup and the second one is Windows backup monitor delete both of the jobs and then you'll have to try the backup again from the backup and resource center okay in the next method we are going to delete the schedule keys from the registries open run by Windows and R type reg edit open the registry editor click on yes for the USC prompt and then navigate to HK local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version
with Windows NT and then current version in current version you'll find the schedule key so we need to delete all of the sub keys in the schedule and the schedule key itself so once it is deleted um, um, so the schedule should work like it is supposed to don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you